Welcome to Little Puffin Cata, the Grouchy Ladybug, by Eric Carle. The Grouchy Ladybug, by Eric Carle. It was night, and some fireflies danced round the moon. At five o'clock. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many amphits on it, and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the amphits and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning," said the friendly ladybug. "Go away!" shouted the grouchy ladybug. "I want those aphids." "We can share them," suggested the friendly ladybug. "No, they are mine, all mine!" screamed the grouchy ladybug. "You want to fight me for them?" "If you insist," answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped by. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screamed the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. So this is the friendly ladybug. What is she saying? Good morning. And the grouchy ladybug is saying, "Go away." At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, here's the yellow jacket. Hey, you," said the grouchy ladybug. "Want to fight? If you insist." said the yellow jacket showing its stinger oh you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and it flew off that was at 6 o'clock at 7 o'clock it at 7 o'clock it met stag beetle hey you said the grouchy ladybug want to fight if you insist said the stag beetle opening its jaws oh you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and it flew off at 8 o'clock it came across a praying mantis hey you said the grouchy ladybug want to fight if you insist said the praying mantis reaching out with its long front legs Oh, you're not big enough," said the grouchy ladybug, and flew away. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. "Hey, you!" said the grouchy ladybug. "Want to fight? If you insist," said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. "Oh, you're not big enough," said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. At ten o'clock, at ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching the claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eleven o'clock. At eleven o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At twelve o'clock. Good night. At twelve noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. 
Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, met a gorilla. Yeah, at two o'clock it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Clock. It ran into a rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered a elephant. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met... A whale. a whale! Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15 At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale, whale's flippers, Hey you, wanna fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to whale's fin. But it got no answer. So it flew on. At 6, the grouchy ladybug said to whale's tail. Hey you, wanna fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap to across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some amphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. That's the end of the story. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Khan. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.